Where have you been, boss? I've been trying to get a hold of you for hours. Yeah, kept you waiting, huh? That was pretty good. But we're in a hurry. We need to film the WCTV announcements. Okay, AJ. Try and remember the basics of doing the morning announcements. We must be really behind D. Colonel. Okay, AJ. Commencing the announcements. Now. Good morning, Willow Canyon. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Mitchell. And I'm Ken. We want to apologize for not having announcements on for the last two days. We've been working very hard on improving some things. For all of you donut lovers out there, a new donut shop is coming to surprise. It's called Star Donuts. It will be located on Bell Road, right next to Payway. So make sure to get your donut fix. Speaking of donuts, Ken's, what kind are your favorite? Oh, definitely Boston Creams. What about you? Personally, I just like any donut. Any <laughs> donut, same. <laughs> And now we will have an inter informal interview featuring Ash and our principal, Dr. Weefridge. Thank you, Kenzie. I'm Melanie here with Dr. Weefridge. Can you explain what the Dysod Override is? Yes, I sure can. Good morning, Melanie. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So up in the front office, we have a factual sheet for the Dysart override, and it states the facts that we are able to present while we're here on the school campus. So I'm going to go ahead and just read it from the sheet so we get the facts correct for you all. The Dysart School District Governing Board authorized placing a maintenance and operations override on the November ballot. In 2014, one-third of the override funding was reduced resulting in the elimination of 149 teaching positions. If it's not passed in 2015, additional cuts will be made of positions and programs in our district. Can you explain what happens when the vote passes? Certainly. Um, when the vote passes, we are able to retain highly qualified teachers. That helps us manage classroom size. As you know, some of your classroom sizes are pretty large right now. It supports quality programs, generates competitive workforce, and protects the values of our properties in the community. Ideally, it's listed to support art, music, band, PE, and athletics. It provides additional support for reading and math, and it also provides support and the funding for all-day kindergarten. So those are the things that the override will actually support. And they're clearly identified in an override what those monies go to. So if you get the factual information sheet, you'll be able to see all that and have all your questions answered. So this information sheet is in the front office, correct? This information is available in the front office, yes. All right. Thank you so much for your time. Back to you, Kenzie. Thank you so very much, Ash. Sophomores and juniors, pick up your forms for the Preliminary Scholastic Aptitude Test, or PSAT, at the office and turn them into the bookstore and don't forget to bring your $15. Make sure your parents sign the forms so that you are eligible to test. The Best Buddies Club informational meeting has been rescheduled. The new meeting will be held on Wednesday, September 16th at 2.30 in room 315. The tech crew for Frankenstein is called from 5 to 7. In addition, you'll find out who your new vice president is tomorrow if you attend the meeting. Book Club will now be held every first and third Wednesday of every month. All fandoms are welcome, so make sure to go check it out. Hey, Kens, did you know reading while sunbathing makes you well read? Ha, 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 ha. And speaking of weather and awful puns, I can't wait to hear what AJ has to say about the weather. It's weather time. Come on. Okay, let's take a look at, the, at tomorrow's weather. Come on. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, high of 102, low of 79. Light winds going south at my five miles per hour. Let's take a look at the rest of the week. Okay. So on Monday and Tuesday, we're going to be having lightning. Ain't that shocking. Okay, we're going to have highs of 106 on Saturday and Sunday and a low of 72 on Tuesday. Now, let's take a look at sports. 
Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Patty. And I'm Jim. We're kicking it off with some sports announcements. Patty, tell us about football. Your JV game has a game here on Thursday, and your varsity and freshman all have a game away versus Sandra Day O'Connor. It's located right off Happy Valley Road on the I-17. Well, congratulations to Alex Ferriero, Junior Cross Country, and our first recipient of the Wildcat Student Athlete of the Week. Good job. You've earned it. Your Willow Kenya volleyball teams, freshman JV and varsity, will be facing Deer Valley at 4, 5, and 6 today. And if you have any announcements that has to do with sports, you want us to broadcast, make sure to email us at wchsannouncements15 at gmail.com. That's all we have for you today. Now we'll send it back to our main anchors. Thank you very much, Jake and Patty. The U of A Honors College Preview. It's down in Phoenix on Saturday the 19th at 11 a.m. Make sure to sign up at www.honors.arizona.edu forward slash Phoenix Preview. Check out our YouTube channel where you can view all of our daily announcements. We will have more information tomorrow. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And have, have a, a great, great Dysart day. day. Gently clink, gently clink. There we go.